Hello and welcome to episode 47 of season 2 of Bobo Scramati Records. Yay! Yes, Wednesday. Woo! And Monday's episode was not too bad. It was a Monday and, you know, it was all victories and pretty plain sailing, really. It was good. So, hmm, after playing a tier 9, I was thinking, you know, I really like the 55. It is good. You know, it's, it's one of my, like, top three, I, I reckon. One of my other top three is the 3805. So, I was like, screw it, Let, let's go ahead now, I want to. So, yeah. So, Muravanka. I almost struggled to read that then. One artillery per side, we're in the north. So, gonna head over to the uh, the western side. I'm not going to sit in the dip like I used to, just down here. I'm actually going to go further across. Now, if things start to look a little bit fishy, I'm going to move. But, yeah, I used to kind of sit around here and kind of move around in amongst these trees, but, meh, yeah, it's always a little dodgy. In the south, it's a little bit easier to guess where the other artillery are going to be, because people generally in this northern side stick to certain areas, you know? Um, with starting in the north, things are a little bit more wonky, you know? Go. It was worth a shot, wasn't it? I mean, if we'd have hit him, we'd have been bloody lucky, but... You see, I, I tend to think that sometimes the artillery are going to want to sit around here all kind of out this way. They don't really tend to sit in any trees and bushes and things, they just kind of sit out and about, you know? Wow, that went strangely long, didn't it? Got to try and get my eye in again, I suppose, with these. I haven't played this thing for for an age. Again, the reload on this is, is nice and comfortable, but you do feel a little bit rushed to get moved and, and aimed in again. But that's kind of to be expected, isn't it? I like the way that everything disappears as uh, as our reload comes up. That's, that's great. So we haven't actually hit or splashed anything yet. I'm not too worried about moving because I heard the the artillery had just fired, so that means he wasn't looking anywhere near us, so it's good. This conqueror took a pounding there, didn't he? We might be able to throw something at him. See what we can do. Damn it! Really? Yeah. Okay, so we splashed the uh, the IS-3 for bugger all. And no one's going to be able to get a shot on him. Typical. Okay, well... Things aren't looking too hot right now. Mm. Hopefully our guys can push around the south quickly. Doesn't look like these guys want to push on. Too much. So there we go. The tiger now knows where we are. We need to keep an eye on that T-49 as well. We don't want that T-49 sneaking up on us. That would be bad news bears. So... Let's see if maybe we can finish one of these guys off. Really? That fell very, very short. At least we got some stun damage, I suppose, but still. Really? If we were to hit in the middle of these two, we'd finish them for sure. 
Look at that. While we're reloading, perfect bombardier. That bloody T-49 is around there as well. I think we should try and go for this anyway. Go. We're, we're stuck here now. For sure. Definitely stuck. Damn it. Okay. We can always see if we can maybe finish this guy off. There we are. So can we get reloaded before this T-49 potentially comes for us? Yeah, okay, he doesn't look that interested, that's good. Hopefully the rest of the heavies have pushed back to, uh, to guard the south. Here's hoping, eh? These two are now too far apart to uh, be able to do anything with. Might be able to finish off another one though. We want to try and get guns out of the game. If they're a dead gun, a dead gun can't shoot back. So even if he's got one hit point, he can still do a decent amount of damage. We don't want that to happen. So the IS-3 looks like he might be coming up towards us. I think rather than try and move, let's just see if we can throw some more shells. I don't know whether the uh, Emil will be able to do something. That went long, didn't it? Okay, these guys are here. I think that IS-3 is either going to flank the Emil or coming for us. Oh man, really? Hmm. It's the likelihood of us actually spotting something. What's our Fosh doing? He's hiding in the corner. Boo. Uh. Excellent, we got him. I wasn't expecting that. You know what our shotgunning skills are like. Let's um, see what we can do. Maybe we could double back. How about that? So rather than go that way like they thought we were going to... I think we're, we're pretty screwed though, aren't we really? Yeah. Well, we'll see how long we can survive. We might be able to get a little bit more damage in before we cop it, eh? You never know. It's best to stay in the trees. Might be. Okay, so there we go. We're still alive. We're not going to be for much longer, but there we go. <laughs> Good game. Alright, well that was a defeat. Second on XP though, and first on damage. Blimey. 12 shots fired, 4 direct hits, 4 penetrations, 5 splash. We had some unlucky ones to begin with there, didn't we? 1,766 hit points of damage. We got 3 kills. No assistance, 824 stun damage with 6 stuns, so that, that's kind of hopefully bumping our average up. Made a loss, even with a personal reserve. Blimey. Alright, I'm, I'm kind of in the habit at the moment of having one or two games in a certain vehicle, just because then it kind of showcases them in a way. But let me know what you guys think, whether you, you prefer seeing one vehicle or me kind of switching about... Um, yeah, but I'm going to try this one again. Swamp. Standard match again. Tier 9 game this time, two artillery per side. And we're in the north. Thinking about it, I've probably asked you guys a few times now whether or not you prefer me playing one vehicle or switching around a little bit, but I've slept since then. And, you know, it's only going to get worse with age, isn't it? I might sit on this little nubbin here, Boop, like that. 
There we go. And then we'll have a look here for enemy artillery. Popular spot this. We might be lucky. Mm -hmm. I think that's that's almost like the S word, isn't it? Might. Should. Might. Hmm. Okay, initial spot in the north. Don't think the enemy artillery can have anything to shoot at there. I think we'll hang around here until there's definitely some spots where we can see there's potential for artillery shots. See if we can hear anything and then, you know, aim in at something different. So kind of watching the map fairly closely. I like to try and listen as well. So there's one. Do you reckon he moved? Yeah. Yeah, he definitely moved. Let's stick around low, shall we? We might have splashed him. You never know. Because... You don't really get to one-shot the artillery unless you direct hit them and are very lucky nowadays. So, you know. Yeah, it's worth a go, I suppose. There we are. Good, so that's one artillery out of the way. Don't know where the 51 is, but... Uh, Hey-ho. We can get shots here. I was... I was thinking it's probably unlikely that we're going to be able to cover this area, but of course the English artillery fire a little bit higher, don't they? So... Yes, there we go, good. Okay. So not really able to get anything on him, especially while we're reloading. worth, you know, sticking around though. We can't get anything on the Conqueror, unfortunately. I don't know why the T-29 has decided to try and go for the Conqueror. That's just silly. But, hey ho. Oh, we could get something on him if he goes this way, though. There we are. Kind of stops him in his tracks a little bit. Hmm. Alright then, I don't really like being over here kind of on our own. It, it's a little bit frustrating that all of our tank destroyers are kind of up on the ridge, but I guess, um, you know, they are sniping from from where they are. Especially seeing as though this guy's staying still, we can try and get shots in on him. Okay, I think we should probably get moved then. We're not that quick, so it's going to be good to get moved now. And I think the the northern eastern side are looking fairly good. Let's see if he wants to move as well. Come on, probably best. You don't want to do that lazy thing of sitting still and just getting taken out and then spamming the F7 button. Yeah, people are all around me funny me saying that isn't it because I do have a habit of seeing still quite a bit but meh <laughs> it's fairly even Stevens isn't it I might be risking it going up this far but kind of want to be in a place where they don't expect so then we can get shots on them and stuff hopefully so let's kind of let's sit around here shall we we've got a nice wide arc on this gun as well which helps Now, do you think the Conqueror's going to push right on round? Do you think they're going to come up here and try and, you know, come around this bit or up here? Maybe. 
If they do, we're in plain sight. We don't like that. Hmm. Maybe we should move slightly further round. Could always get over here, I suppose. Yeah. Yeah, let's push on around a little bit more, shall we? Might as well, especially when there's no uh, no spots at the moment. Take advantage of that and don't feel too guilty moving and not firing. Ah, that's why that guy didn't want to move too far. 33 hit points. I wouldn't want to move too far either. So if we stay far enough back, we can get over stuff. Like houses and such. Hmm. You'd think the 704 would see anyone that tries to pass over this section. Have a look to see where he's sat. Yeah, good. So he's... He's possibly... Oh man, really? Damn it! This is really annoying. Because now... We're in a dangerous old spot. Hmm. Alright, so the plan to come all the way over this way was not a good one. Move, let's move, let's move, let's move. Don't want to end up getting caught out by bloody T29. Right. Let's see if the T29 is moving that way. Let's, um, let's see if maybe we can get something on him from here. We kind of, kind of, but not really. Hmm. Maybe I will go back up this way, especially if the T twenty nine's headed this way. You spotted the, uh, yeah. So where's that conqueror then? Conqueror's got to be up here. Whoops, I was looking at the map and not where I was going. Okay, let's back up and try and get a shot, shall we? Back up, back up, back up. Right. Aim in, aim in, aim in. Okay, could have got some stun or something on him there. I think if we go wide enough, the T29 might not see us. Yeah, the ground's low enough here. Just got to be careful not to uh, not to get spotted by something silly. So there's the T29 need to finish him. This shot needs to land. Oh, really? Okay, he might not figure out where we are just because it landed the other side of him. Possibly. Good stuff. Okay, so our two tank destroyers are still alive. This Fosh is heading up on our Oods. Oots, oots, oots. Yo, oh, don't face hug him. Yo, oh, really. I want to take the shot, but. That Hopefully, that was far enough away that. Um, that he doesn't know we're over this way. I don't really know how this one's going to play out now. 
Not with only the two of them left. I didn't really get a chance to see whereabouts the the artillery could have been. Now where was what was the last artillery kill? I'm not sure of that either, because that might have helped us work out where where he could have be where he could be. Could have be where he could have be. Oh guys, they are gonna have to just play defensively. Hmm. And they are gonna spot things fairly close to them, aren't they? I'm just moving the hull around enough so then we can cover this kind of area and over here as well. Let's just wait and see what they spot, I guess. I think we're in a position that they're not expecting the artillery to be. Like the enemy team, I mean. Hopefully. I think our shots have landed on people in places where they're not necessarily going to you know, point in a certain direction and go, oh, he's over there. Hmm. Kind of need countdown timer now, don't we? Okay. Good stuff. He's definitely going to know where we are now. Let's get moved. Oh. Okay. Let's get aimed in. Not going to be able to finish him though, are we? No. Alright, let's not stay still. Let's uh, keep them guessing. We can help out with this T twenty nine. Oh dear. Not cool. We're not gonna be able to help out with the T twenty nine. Uh let's move this way. Try and get something on him. Oh, nice shot. Okay, so... Where's the bloody Fosh? Hmm. I've only got a minute. Bloody 15 seconds left. Stopped. Damn it. There's the Fosh. Balls. Oh dear. This is going to be to the wire. I think this is going to be a draw. Unless things speed up dramatically. Let's keep this shell until something's spotted, shall we? So, 704 is being very brave. He's on five kills, so we'll pay attention to that. Maybe we can... Help him out. Damn it! Okay. We could... Wow, now we're not going to get loaded before the end of game now. I think the, the artillery's over that way. Hmm... Yeah, we're not going to get loaded, are we? Damn. Ah, well, good game. Uh, let's take the shot. Damn. Boo. Yeah, oh, it was a draw. Yeah, I don't know if you heard me. I was clicky, 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 clicky. Trying to get that last shell off. But... Boo. Second on damage, third on XP. 
14 shots fired, 5 direct hits, 5 penetrations with 7 splash for 3,002. Hmm. Okay. Only got one kill there. 437 assistance damage. Over a thousand stun though. 11 stuns. Decent amount of credits. Okay. Good. Still need to decide what to do with these loaders, don't we? Maybe we should wait until this guy gets up to 100% and then change one of them over. The loaders don't really have much to help now. Because intuition is fairly useless now that we've only got HE anyway. Safe stowage, I suppose, but generally when people hit you, they kill you. I know, I suppose... <sighs> safe stowage or adrenaline rush, I, I guess. But they're both 100% jobs, so we'd have to knock out the the camouflage that they've got. Yeah, I think we'll leave it for now. Okay, seeing as though it's it's over 26 minutes now, I, don't think, I think I'm going to leave it there for this episode, but... Uh, yeah, thank you for watching. That was a little bit frustrating at the end there. But uh, yeah, leave a like and stuff if you enjoyed. And I will see you guys on Friday. So until then.